Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Swift series. In this video, we're going to learn about variables and data types in Swift. Let's get started. Okay, so once we've gotten our Xcode sort of figured out and we've experienced the playground just a bit, let's go ahead and understand what variables are. Now, hopefully, if you come from any other programming language, you've dealt with variables before. Variables are just memory allocations where data is stored. For example, let's say my friend is turning 20. His age is now 20, and I want to store that value 20 in a variable. That's where variable comes in. I store that 20, allocate that information into a memory spot, and that memory spot is known as a variable. For example, I might have a sentence. My name is Avi. I want to store that sentence in a variable. I will use, again, the exact same concept, storing that information in a memory allocation. So how do I create a variable in Swift? Well, as you might have seen in that example we just removed, the first step is to type VAR. VAR is short for variable, and some programming languages you might have to specify what type of variable it is. In other programming languages you don't have to specify VAR, but in Swift you just type VAR and then the variable name. So our variable name, going off the age example, is going to be H, and then I'm going to go ahead and set this to 20. So VAR age is equal to 20. In this scenario, now if I type age, Xcode is going to run my playground. It takes a few seconds, but now I'm going to see 20 over here. So the value 20, okay, this value has been allocated to the variable age. And now wherever I use age in my code, it's going to have the value 20. Okay. So let's go ahead and create the sentence variable as well. Var sent is equal to my name is Avi. Hit enter. And if you type sent and just give it a few spaces, I'm going to go ahead and see that my sentence is my name is Avi. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And most of the time, if you just type the variable name, it's not going to show anything. So that's why I want to quickly cover the print statement. The print statement is a function and it takes in what you want to print out. So I want to print out my age. I want to print out sent. And I'm going to go ahead and get over here. Um, print 20 and my name is Avi. You notice the slash n at the end of both print statements and the reason for that is because every time you print something out, it goes to the next line. So 20 and then new line. My name is Avi and the new line. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we've covered how to create variables and we've understood some of the basic structure of you know var, then variable name is equal to the value. So what are data types? Now in Swift, there are a couple of data types that a variable can be, okay? There are the following basic types, integers, floats, doubles, bools, strings, and a couple of others, okay? So this age variable that we created, we have var age is equal to 20. This 20 is an integer. Floats and doubles are decimals. If I create var pi is equal to 3.14, this is going to be a float. Now, the difference between a float and a double is that a double is used for huge decimals and a float is used for somewhat small decimals. It's There's a very minute difference between them, but you can use either one. Right now, this is a float. Var pi is equal to 3.14. The next type of variable is Boolean. So Boolean values are true or false. Just like in binary, there's zeros or ones. Booleans are true or false. So I'm going to create a variable, variable is rainy. And I'm going to set this equal to false. So Booleans are very effective when checking a condition, which we'll cover in a future lecture. But I'm just showing you the different data types that exist. So my is rainy can either be false or true. And the last type of variable is string. So this var send is equal to my name is Avi. This is a string. And a string is denoted by anything in quotation marks. Awesome. So in this lecture, let's go ahead and do a quick recap. We covered how to create a variable understanding that, hey, you need to specify var, then the variable name, and then the value. And then in Xcode and in Swift, the four or five most common types of data you'll be using are integers, strings, floats and doubles, and booleans, okay? So almost all the variables you encounter will be some of these four basic types of values. And then after that, we'll discuss different data structures and more fun stuff. Anyways, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.